Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you all how we celebrate special little holidays. This holiday that we will be celebrating today is Chinese New Year, the year of the ox. Come along, can't wait to share with you what all we've done today. So get ready for our journey to China. Come along, let's go. Today we celebrate Chinese New Year's. You can see in these pictures some of the items that we used while celebrating. I've been trying to be more intentional about including our one-year-old. So this picture is a picture of the tub that we had for all of his sensory items and different red and gold items, dragon items, that he was able to enjoy also. We started out the day talking about gold. It was a story of my son's reader and just happened to go perfect with this uh, theme. So we decided to talk about the gold and they did a chart on gold as you can see here as we talked. And then you can see the different, um, it was just a quick little story. Usually he would read these, but I decided to read this one to him since we were a little behind just starting this after Christmas. Instead of our typical devotional, we actually read out of this dragon book by Master Books. If you have not checked into Master Books, I highly suggest it. These books are amazing. This book I have been saving specifically for Chinese New Year's. I love how they have all the little flaps and envelopes and just different items in there that we could pick and choose what we wanted to read so that my children didn't get bored with it, but also that they were learning the legend of the dragon and how they tie the Bible into it. Check out these illustrations. They are amazing. Even my one-year-old enjoyed the huge pictures of the dragons and the dinosaurs throughout the book. As you can see here, I love how it shows where you can find the word dragon in the Bible and how it fits into the Bible. It's really neat to be able to see that. It's also neat to be able to see the different ways to pronounce dragon in all the different countries of the world. We love this Q&A about dragons as well in the back of the book. After reading, we watched a how-to on how to use chopsticks. The kids loved learning how to use chopsticks. However, it was very difficult and they needed a lot of help. We then made our own Chinese lanterns. It is a tradition to hang red lanterns around your house on the Chinese New Year's as good luck. However, using red construction paper, it doesn't show colors as well as using yellow. So we switched to yellow and they're decorating them with red and different color markers so that we can make them into lanterns and hang them up. After decorating, you would then fold it hot dog style. And then on the fold, you will cut, as you can see, little strips, but don't cut all the way. Leave about an inch or inch and a half at the top after cutting each strip. Once it is cut, you would then fold it hamburger style, yeah, so the opposite way, and you will staple each end. This is very difficult, so an adult may want to do the stapling for the child. Last, you'll want to attach the handle. This was a little difficult as well. You could either use tape, glue, or staple them. For lunch, it was orange chicken and rice, and of course, fortune cookies. We then learned to draw the Chinese dragon. However, it was a little bit more difficult than we thought, so we switched to the Chinese lantern and the ox. And that pretty much sums up our Chinese New Year celebration. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe below.